Hello again YouTube, Jack4420 is here again. Um, making a quick video of my woods. Well, not my woods, but the woods I like to mess around in and do stuff. Um, the woods where I make pads. And uh, currently I've re-cleared a lot of space. See, I come out here every once a year and uh, clear stuff out. Anything I might have gotten here, like say these vines weren't here last year, I gotta either move them or clear them, something. This was all over the path here. And uh, there's some tools that I use. And uh, what I do is I simply just, well, I used to a long time ago take a uh, baseball bat, <laughs> a plastic baseball bat, and um, I would come out here and hack away. But now I've got a machete and a small blade. And my, my nice Walmart machete that I painted because it was losing its original paint. And this decorative sword blade that I found in a junk pile without a handle that I just kind of duct taped. And it was already rusty and a piece of crap. There's really nothing I could do with it. So I'm using it. Uh, I've got a goose, which is different. It's not real. It's just a decoy I found kayaking a while back. Uh, called him Bob. <laughs> um, I recently cleared out what I'm calling the beach now, where it basically goes all the way back there and up to the water, and I just recently leveled it about two weeks ago, about that deep down I went from, uh, well, my foot is here from here to up here is where I went. So that's pretty neat, nice to have that much more cleared space, I can however see that the deer have been liking it. A little bit of a step there to get up into that area over there. Um, continues on in this direction. You know, I cleared out area that I did about two years back where I think the water likes to run off because I can see where it just kind of flows right here with all the weeds and stuff. Moving on to an addition part of that cleared out space here. Um, all this was almost, well it was pretty much all here already. I just kind of added on to it really. I just made them more refined. I think when I originally came out here they're all deer pads so uh, I kind of refined them a little more. That's pretty nice. I like that. Lots of stuff to do. Um, here's a tree that for some reason me and a friend painted a lot and I don't know why we did it but <laughs> we did. No real reason to it. Didn't really like that we did after we did, and I'm a little late now. Um, but this is only part one of, I think I'm going to do three. Yeah, part one of three. Where I'll just show you this part, and there's another part down into the cornfield more. Once that gets harvested, I'll show you that. You know, some more water leads back up to that stream. Also recently cleared. Yeah, I come out here and do this all by myself, though. Sometimes I'll have a friend over help me out a little bit, but usually I don't love it because they always don't do it right. Well, to my standards, I like a small path, you know, about a foot or so on both sides of width. That's about, like, nothing too big. And to uh, bring you down my favorite path now, I'm going to lead you to the, uh, well, what used to be the dam. My favorite path. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, this is a sign, as in you can go that way, and that way, and that way. <laughs> really crude. Well, this used to actually be a bridge, now I call it the dam, which is really kind of a fail excuse of that as well. It does hold the water back a bit and make a nice little flowing noise. But yeah, this used to be a bridge. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm thinking about clearing this out pretty soon, though, because it's, uh... Not too nice. There was also a dam here that you can see that also failed. Probably gonna leave that one there, it's no big deal. It's regular wood, no chemicals. But that one I'm gonna want to clear out relatively soon. And that all happened over the summer, where it just kind of collapsed in there and rotted. All over one summer. I'm coming back here again to show you something that happened. Quite tragically, it was one of my favorite bridges. And I'll even add a picture of it at the end. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a piece of wood under that water there. 
that was plank one of four. And there's a few supports there sticking out. Yeah, that was one of my favorite bridges that went across here. And went straight across through there. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like when I haven't come out here for a whole year. That's usually a clear path all the way through. <laughs> so that's what I usually clear out every year. But yeah, it used to go right across here and now it's down. <laughs> That actually happened one winter after a big storm, not snowstorm, but just a rainstorm. It was really harsh, came out here and it was all gone. <laughs> it was disappointing. And here's another cleared out space. I'd like to camp someday. Sometimes I'll camp out in the yard or something, but I think over the winter, this winter, I'll camp out here. I don't see why not. No big deal. And I'll bring you to one other spot, and that's where I'm going to start clearing again pretty soon. And uh, then the next video you see of this area will be the final refined video of when I'm finished. Yeah, this space I recently cleared out too. And um, all I can do now is really go through here and clean that out. If you can see, look at my finger right there at the tip of my finger. That's another sign. It goes down to there, and then it goes that way. My finger's on the path now. And it goes that way. My finger's on the path there, too. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, from Tractor Waiting 420. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs> Have a good one.